craziest couples ever. Stop. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. What's going on guys, Shaq Reacts here once again, and this is going to show some wild clips of the craziest couples I can find. But in this first one, guys, you guys gotta let me know what you guys would do. This is absolutely insane, and to be honest, I would be speechless and definitely have a divorce. This woman decides to go behind her husband's back, take $60,000 from him, and invest it into Bitcoin. Or I guess just crypto overall. I guess she's been listening to some gurus too much, listen to put them in certain coins, and well, this ended up happening. This listen to the amount it turned into, and I feel super bad for this guy, because well, he just lost so much money the reason why i've been hiding you is because i pretty much lost our house savings i took from the house savings i found the cryptocurrency that i wanted to invest into next thing you know in about two months it went to like 100k and i know that in that moment i probably should have just stopped because that was way over what we had started with and that was the plan so i used that just being so confident that I can take us to like, damn near being millionaires. I know you're looking at me like I'm crazy right now, but when I first did this, it went crazy. So now, yeah. how, how, much, how much money did you start with and how much money, how much of that did you lose? So I started the trading account with 60,000. What's left? Correct, yeah. It's at about 10k right now you really just took money and you literally just robbed us of our future in this next one, this man, I guess, comes home just to find out that his girlfriend is cheating on him with another guy. I'm not sure if it was actually his house or something, but I guess it was just his location. Ends up seeing that her friend is there with another person as well. Super fake for her to even defend a cheater. But look at this man's reaction. It's super calm and cool. And he knows that she's just for the streets. She's crazy. I was also sad about to see what's going on. Watch this. Yo, Nate here. Um, yeah. Can I come in? Yeah, I'm here to What's here? What's here? What's here? Y'all in the weirdest hell, bro. Mm -hmm. You gonna move? Mm -mm. What you want Nate for? Dead ass here. Like, watch out. So serious, bro. I ain't the weirdest hell, bro. <laughs> hey, watch out, move out. Bro. Watch out, bro. Watch out, watch out. He look, he look like real quick. Damn, for real? Who the fuck? Why are you sitting behind the door and shit? See what I'm be talking about? Bro, who is you? Exactly. Who the fuck I be talking about right now? This next one is pretty much why you shouldn't let your girlfriend drive your sports car, especially if it belongs to you. This is not a good um, idea. Like, I've never driven your car before. And this next one, this girl just pretty much contradicted herself about what's the positives and negatives about being a girl. And this is what she had to say. Also, listen to the man's response. It's super funny. What's the best thing and the worst thing about being a female? I think the best thing is I got pretty privileged because I'm bomb. And a uh, worst thing is that men be sexualizing females a whole lot. Right, what's the best thing and the worst thing about being a male? Why are you assuming she's a female? No. Oh, <laughs> Chitty chitty bang bang. Yo. And this next one, this woman is absolutely delusional, saying that she wants a millionaire. However, when she was questioned what does she provide and why she deserves a millionaire, this is what she had to say. Once again, it's just copy and paste with every other woman. A woman can say the exact same thing. You're no different. How much money does a guy need to date you? You need to be a millionaire. Yes. Yes. Okay, and for that millionaire, like, what are you coming with? What are you providing for your guy? Just me. I'm a special girl and someone needs to buy me. My bags, my jewelry, my necklace, my clothes. He should just buy that for you because you're special. Yeah. And this next one is absolutely sad and depressing, basically. This girl ended up starting an OnlyFans business just for it to fail. And I guess she said it's because she never put enough time into it, which I think is absolute BS. I can't believe she sold herself for $10 a month and nobody even wanted it. That means she's worth less than $10, I guess. Started OnlyFans. Okay. And then I failed at OnlyFans because I think I had it about two weeks. You failed? Yeah, because I can't be able to do it myself. So I asked a girl to run it for me, and she did it. Basically, you're just lazy. Uh, not really. I work three jobs, but... Lazy to do your own business. To have the time to do it, yeah. In this next one, this man decides to go into detail about how a woman's ego can be really affected if you reject them. And to be honest, it easily is because they start blaming their looks immediately. Because to be honest, a woman usually only has her looks. When nobody really cares about how much money she makes. Her personality even doesn't matter that much. So the moment you reject a really pretty woman, it affects them so deeply, unlike a man, which can improve so much on different things. Women 
hate to be left. You want to you want to break a woman's ego? Reject her. I cannot tell you how many times I have dealt with women who I've turned them down and they couldn't handle it. Especially women who are pretty, beautiful, or gorgeous because they're used to getting everything you want. Women hate rejection because they love our male attention and validation. They need it. They, it is oxygen to them. It is currency to them. It is manna from heaven. Our attention, gentlemen, is a woman's lifeblood. They need it. And the sooner you guys start to realize that taking your attention away from women, telling, taking your sexual, taking your sex away from women, and telling women no is more powerful than a million dollars. Well, maybe not a million. It's more powerful than six figures. How about that? And this next one, this is absolutely disgusting. One of the worst baby reveals I have ever seen. I hope this is a prank of some sort because I almost gagged. Ooh, slips out. Hey. Yeah. It's a homemade popsicle. Yeah. Ooh. You know, is it good? Mm. You all right, bro? You've nearly finished it. <laughs> we're, we're having the baby. <laughs> In this next one, we have this woman who ends up, I guess, not taking any responsibility and acts like the victim, even though she cheated and her man left her. This is what she had to say. She's saying, oh my God, I was supposed to marry this man. And now I'm driving around sad, you know, looking at these places that we used to go to together. And in the back of my head, I'm like, yo, just take some responsibility, own up to it. And this is all on you, to be honest. No one's going to feel bad for you. The person I thought I was going to marry broke up with me. Obviously, this is only day three, so I don't expect to be happy but you know they always say to just distract yourself as much as possible but no matter how much i work i can't even focus on my job i bought my favorite wrap i'm starving but i can't eat because i'm just so sad every place that i go that once felt safe just doesn't make me feel comfortable anymore it's so weird. Every place I go gives me anxiety. Just the plain fact that I'm not with the person that I loved just pops up in my head consistently. You're not alone. I feel fucking alone all the time. No matter how much I stay busy, I miss him. And then I'm mad at him. And then I'm and this next one, I guess this woman admits that women have the power when it comes to who they hook up with and such. And if that's being the case, that also explains why having a high body count as a woman isn't a good thing. Because you had full control over it, yet you let it get super high. And just keep listening to her questions because this man just kept roasting her. So long as a guy has made you wait. Not that long? Why don't men make women wait? Because they can't resist. You have the... So you have the power. 110%. Absolutely. The woman is the one that allows the men... 110%. So, is pussy the only commodity that women have? No, we give a lot more. Okay, give me the rundown. That's for you to find out. Well, you're the one, you're the woman. I know, like, the man's gotta find out, like, what a, the woman can provide. So, like, a woman's not gonna provide for anybody and everybody. They're gonna only provide 110% for the one. So, what do you provide for your one? I don't have a one yet. Why do you think that is? Because so far nobody's been worthy enough to have my 110%. Keep telling yourself that, darling. In this next one, I guess this man is looking at his girlfriend dance, and you could immediately tell he's turned off. Turing is realizing you don't want to be around drama, stress, or conflict anymore. You start choosing calm over chaos, distance over disrespect. You start prioritizing your peace, mental health, and happiness. In this next one, we have this man who I guess joins us live and ends up roasting this woman and saying she is for the streets. She gets super roasted by this, and even her friend who's sitting next to her gets super upset by this as well. But this man does not give a damn. He just wants to let her know how it is. By you. I'm chilling. How are you doing, Melly? Good. Your shirt at? Why you got no shirt on? Because I'm getting my weight up. You feel me? Huh? I'm getting my weight up. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I just wanted to say, um, Alicia, uh, yeah, this ain't for you, baby girl. This ain't for you. You for the streets. 
You got a baby daddy. We don't want you. I'm sorry. We don't want you. I'm sorry. We it's don't okay. want you. Right here, we don't want you. I'm, I'm here to tell you we don't want you. We just here to troll you tonight. We as in gen mineral in general, we don't want you. Yo, if your baby daddy don't want you, what do you mean somebody else gonna want you? Now, probably the worst clip on the list, guys, basically, we have this woman who's acting horribly during this date because she got rejected. And I guess she kept on messing around trying to push him until he did this to her. And to be honest, she deserved every bit of it. Maybe it's just time for me and you to just separate. Stop, 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 bitch. I tell you, stop. Here, bitch. You know what? Here, bitch. Stop. 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 Come out. I'm gonna f him up right now. Well, that does you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.